We've all had them. Gear failures. What's up, backpackers? I'm Dan, and welcome to Backpacking Adventures, where we talk about backpacking, hiking, and gear. If those interest you, then hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss a thing. I've been on three backpacking trips in the last two months, two of which were solo trips. My first gear failure was on the West Rim Trail. The West Rim Trail is a 30-mile point-to-point trail in the Tioga State Forest in North Central Pennsylvania. It is also known as the PA Grand Canyon. When I backpack solo, I take a transponder. This provides peace of mind to my family back home, as well as allowing me to call search and rescue in the case of an emergency. There are many different kinds of transponders, but the one I picked was the Spot Gen 3. It allows me to send two predefined text messages to whoever I designate they go to. The one I use is that I'm hiking um, and checking in, everything's okay. The second one is when I make it to camp so they know that I will not be sending any more messages. It also can continuously track your progress and post your location on a website. During my trip, I was continually hitting the check-in button. It has indicator lights that let you know that you're connected to the satellites. When I used it, the lights were green, which let me to believe that I was connected. It wasn't until I was on my way home when I got cell service that I called home. And to my surprise, they didn't receive any messages. So my question is, what if there was an emergency? What if I fell and broke my leg and needed to call search and rescue? Would it have sent it? I've used it on a recent trip and it worked. I'm gonna keep trying it, but if it happens again, I'm gonna to have to look into another transponder. The second fire was on the Black Forest Trail. The Black Forest Trail is a 42 mile loop located in the Tyodotton State Forest, also in the north central Pennsylvania area. As like most backpackers, I have to filter my water. The water filter I use is the Catadyne Bee Free, and I love this filter. The Catadyne Bee Free is a 0.1 micron filter. It filters up to about a thousand gallons, which is nowhere near the Sawyer Squeeze. It comes in three sizes a 0.6 liter, a 1 liter, and a 3 liter. The flow rate is about two liters per minute, which is faster than the Sawyer Squeeze, which is one of the reasons why I bought it in the first place. During my last two trips, the filter stopped flowing. When I would start to fill up my bottle, it would work fine. And then as I'm squeezing it and filling up the bottle, it would slow, slow until almost it came to a complete stop. I would shake it to clean it out, which is how you're supposed to clean it since you don't have to back flush it. But when I would start, it would be fine again and slow down and not having a water filter is not a good idea. I normally carry some Aquamira tablets as a backup, but on the Black Forest Trail, it was hot, the terrain was very steep, and I was drinking a lot of water, so I'm not sure I would have had enough with me. I do have a spare one of the filters, which I'm gonna try to use again, and if it continues to work, then I'll just chalk it up to a bad filter and move on. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to look at a new filter. Let me know what gear failures you had in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.